The Etiquettes and Benefits of Travelling The great scholar Imam Shafi'i said Leave your country in search of loftiness and travel For in travel there are five benefits Number one, relief from hardship Number two, earning of livelihood Number three, gaining knowledge Number four, learning good manners Number five, noble companionship. Before the traveller sets on his journey, he should renew his intention that he is travelling to please and get closer to Allah. He should make the intention to pray while travelling. The traveller should not have the intention to disobey Allah. The traveller should fulfil all his responsibilities before he goes. This includes paying off his debts. He should make dua and ask Allah to bless his journey. He should seek forgiveness of Allah and ask Allah. He should seek forgiveness from Allah and anyone he has wronged. The traveller should also bid family members farewell. He should not be extravagant in his preparations and expenses. The Prophet ﷺ said, The supplications of three people are answered. The traveller, the parents and the oppressed. Ibn Umar reported when the Messenger of Allah ﷺ would mount his camel for travel. Three times? He would exalt Allah three times and then say, Exalted is he who has subjected this to us, for we have no power over it ourselves, and to our Lord we shall return. O Allah, we ask you during this journey for righteousness, taqwa, and deeds that are pleasing to you. O Allah, make this journey easy for us and make the distance short for us O oh Allah you are our companion during this journey and the guardian of the family O oh Allah I seek refuge in you from the hardship of travel ugly scenes and an evil return to our property and family